Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another book review on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and uh, I've had a lot of people ask what the next book I'm going to write is, and a number of the suggestions that were put forth were some variation on Dreisa to G36, you know, a history of German firearms. Well, that's not something that I plan to take on, because there's a lot of written literature out there already about German firearms, and in particular there is one book that kind of comes close to the idea that people were suggesting, and that is by Hans Dieter Goetz, I think I'm pronouncing that right, German uh, Military Rifles and Machine Pistols, 1871 to 1945. This was actually originally published in German in Germany by Verlag, which is a really good publishing house, um, and then reprinted here in 1990 by Schiffer, and it's still available, and it does kind of that, uh, kind of what people were asking maybe I would be interested in doing. So. This is a history of, obviously, German military firearms, and it starts with the Werder rifle and goes all the way through to the experimental rifles developed at the end of World War II, and it's more comprehensive and more informative than you might expect. I think a lot of people would take a look at this book and think, well, you know, it's going to be kind of surface coverage of the big stuff. The, the MP40, the Car 98K, the Gewehr 98, etc, etc. Well, no, there's actually a lot of really good information in this book, covering a lot of the, the ancillary subjects. So you oftentimes will have, you know, a number of major rifles, but there are these interesting stories of, well, okay, what's the deal with the Werder rifle? Why did it get replaced so quickly? It seems like a really good design, or maybe it wasn't a good design. Well, uh, this book does a really good job of covering like the controversy and the stories involved in some of the changes between guns. So uh, the issues that the Werder rifle ran into when they tried to convert it to the standard 11mm Mauser cartridge from the Mauser 1871. That's well explained in here. Um, you know, going all the way to the other end of the book, you have the development of some of the early roller delayed blowback guns, um, discussion of what would, so what would have become the Sturmgewehr 45, how that went together, um, the Volmer M35 uh, machine carbine, for lack of a better term, uh, is also discussed in here. That's the, the original genesis of the whole Sturmgewehr concept um, in the 1930s by Heinrich Volmer, and everything in between. So um, a lot of relatively rare guns are covered in this book. Things like uh, Gewehr 98 carbines, carabiner 98s, which we're used to seeing like the Car 98 AZ with its stacking rod from late World War II, but there were actually legitimate true carbine versions of the Gewehr 98 that were introduced before World War I, and they're exceptionally rare today, and they're covered in here. Now, the downside uh, is that this is a book for, I would say, enthusiasts and historians, and not a collector's book so much, because there really isn't any information in here of tabulated serial numbers, um, specific assessment of markings, how to really identify the details of a particular gun. Instead, this is an overview of the development programs and what guns were adopted and when. So still very valuable, but not quite as much information, for example, as what I have in mine on French rifles. So um, the photography is all black and white. It could be a lot better, but it does get the point across. This is more text than photograph. Um, in general, as you might expect for a book that covers information as I just described. So uh, this is still available from Schiffer, and um, I don't know how many they have, but Schiffer books don't tend to go out of print uh, very often, so um, you can pick it up there. Uh, the cover price on it is $60 as of the time of this filming. It is also available less than that on Amazon, so I'll include an Amazon link. Uh, however, if you're watching this well after the video comes out, those used books on Amazon or you know, reduced price new offers may or may not be around. So don't pay more than 60 bucks for it. If you're going to do that, go straight to Schiffer and buy it from them. Anyway, um, very good book. Highly recommend it if you're looking for one book on the evolution of German military firearms up until the end of World War II. Thanks for watching.